Hello everybody, this is Mock, and welcome to part 3 of the Zero playthrough of Mega Man X4. Last time, I was rusty. <laughs> we took out Split Mushroom and Jet Stingray, actually showing off what that boss does, now that I'm not, now that I couldn't abuse his weakness, because I didn't have it yet. Now, we're going to get Jet Stingray's weakness, despite having already beaten him. So I guess a uh, fun fact, uh, Zero was original was actually the original design of Mega Man X. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we weren't originally going to have our blue bomber boy. No, instead we were going to have we we're going to have this red blonde super Jedi. But then we got X instead because he looks a bit closer to Classic Sonic. <laughs> classic, classic Mega Man. I'm sorry, they just they just started finally giving us news on Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> you know, to to date when this is being recorded. Oh no! No! <laughs> Yeah, and with this game and especially X5, X is just, as far as story goes, X is just kind of there. Like, the main focus is definitely on Zero. Yeah, uh, you know, X still has his moments, but the, the the story is pretty focused on Zero for this game and the next. Because I mean, if, even if you look at the the X playthrough, you know, nothing was really different for X. Like they had Double, but the like, Double was just on the Maverick Select screen, and then he just decided to fight X. See, anyway, this this boss is back. He uses Z Saber to destroy the icicles. Then <laughs> when he does that, they don't fall on the ground and hit you. Ow! Yeah, it's still not bad with the pinwheel of doom. Yeah, like, you know, X is just kind of going through the motions, but Zero, you know, we've got that intro cutscene with Dr. Wily. Ow. You know, we've got, yeah, we have the intro cutscene with Dr. Wily. There's... There's the entire, uh, you know, I I Iris being the Colonel's brother thing, giving Zero more, giving Zero and the Colonel history and making him a bit more interesting. O only a bit, though. And then when we get to the next game, oh, poor Zero. Zero goes through some shit in the next game. I don't know if I'd say it's as much shit as he goes through in his own series, but we'll get to that when we get to that. You know what? 
the rate I'm playing through the Mega Man X games and other games I wanted to play through. I'll get I'll get to the Mega Man Zero series by 2030, give or take. Anywho, boss time. What's that blonde kid up to? <laughs> I don't have time for you, Junior. This walrus does not know who he's fighting. This walrus has no idea who is who he's fighting. Now that doesn't work in this game. Okay, now I have to show that off. In, in X5, you can dash cancel Zero's attacks. <laughs> And it just destroys boss health bars. But yeah, Ross Wallers is still easy. Still a total cakewalk. Yeah. Well, by beating him, we get Horetsu-san. We get... We get a down air. Hold, holding down and hitting the special weapon button in midair, we get this downward stab thing. Alright, four Mavericks. Story time. Message from the Rep of Force. Zero, I'll be at Memorial Hall. Be there. Don't go, Zero. Don't fight him. This is a matter of personal pride now. There's no avoiding this. I must go. Zero, stop being a prideful shithead. Colonel! What? I'm disappointed in you, Colonel! Ah! What is he doing? Not too late. Stop the coop now. Is that your decision? Prepare yourself. Yeah, no, no boss fight with Colonel with Zero. You just get an anime cutscene. Anyway, now that that's done, uh, actually no, we have mushrooms move, so let's go do Peacock. Yeah, it may not be soul body, but it is still a split mushroom thing. So the, the spinny slash is still able to destroy the the yellow devil goop in one slash. Oh, come on! Uh, 
I'm just going to restart. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to restart. I'll I I'm getting my heart tank and my sub tank. Please still give me the S rank. Okay. Sp spinny slash is very helpful. I think I still got the S rank. Nice. I, I love it when you're able to get those dash jumps just right and be able to hit all the platforms. <laughs> it's so satisfying. And yeah, back back to ball puzzles. My eye frames made it so that I didn't hit the switch. Ow. I have nothing to say about these levels. They're all the same as when X did them. This ain't like Mega Man. This ain't like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, where, you know, yeah, Sonic and Knuckles go through the same levels, but Knuckles has some different paths. Yes, yes, Peacock. Unfortunately, the Spinny Slash does not count as a weakness when it comes to fighting him. Oh. Ow. Yeah, I just realized this fight's actually going to be kind of hard. <laughs> like, Cyber Peacock is like, I want to say like the only Maverick to get a different weakness, or maybe he just has two weaknesses. I like X can also exploit it, but I don't have that weakness. Ow. 
I am impressed that I managed to avoid that. Ow. So yeah, I I believe I showed his attacks with X. I think I did. Well, if I didn't, uh, well, you're seeing him now. He likes to teleport around. He did teleport on you and do an uppercut, or he'll teleport like two off to the side and do like a giant spike attack. Ow. Ow. Damn it. So yeah, he, he teleports around, he has the uppercut, he has a giant porcupine spike attack. Occasionally he'll teleport in the air and then shoot homing feathers at you. I'm gonna shut up now and try and kill it. I have to remember I have a sub tank. Ow. Okay, Spinny Slash is doing way more damage. Wait, what? But I thought I filled up one of the sub tanks. What? I thought I could get the third slash out in time and get the vertical mobility. I didn't think I'd just jump.
Okay, he's actually very exploitable. Ow. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, his, his normal pattern is actually just very exploitable. But did I actually just spend 20 minutes on that level? <laughs> I'm looking at my- I'm looking at OBS and seeing the recording. Wait, no, because I also took on Frost Walrus. Never mind, no. <laughs> I am not a failure. Hey, we got Rakuhoha, the Giga Attack. In most, most of Zero's appearances, he has some sort of giga technique, a, a super move. This is the only thing Zero has that uses any weapon energy of any kind. Well, let's go take on uh, Slash Beast just because I want, I want his weapon. I want his weapon and it's an easy heart tank to grab. Anyway, uh... So, yeah. Sonic Frontiers is finally showing off. <laughs> I don't have anything about the levels to really talk about, so I guess I'll talk about current happenings in gaming. Uh, thank... Yo. Sonic and IGN is always a, a scary combination. IGN doesn't like Sonic because they're bad watch any of their Sonic reviews and you know they're bad at Sonic games. <laughs> so naturally, Sega decides to give IGN the, the whole first look at Sonic Forces thing. Force Frontiers. Now, I don't know what IGN first is, but I'm assuming, at least the sense I get, is that it's going to be a whole month-long thing of them showing off Sonic Frontiers, which... Thank you, that game is supposed to come out in December. Anyway, hang on. Real quick, let me just destroy this entire- this boss's whole existence. Yeah, that boss is a cakewalk with zero. <laughs> anyway, uh... Yeah. We finally saw Sonic Frontiers. I need to see more of this game. <laughs> the stuff we have seen leaves a lot to be desired. I don't know if we no. I don't think anybody knows how early the uh, how early of a build those first gameplay videos we've seen are, but yeesh. It does not leave a, the greatest impression of the game. Yo, I just want a good Sonic game for... Oh, I want a universally loved Sonic game. Last one we had was Generations, 11 years ago. You know, 
like the prospect of open world Sonic is interesting, but <laughs> I, I just want to see it done well. I just want a good Sonic game. Anyway, we're at the boss now. And I want to say Flash Beast is another boss I haven't I didn't show off what he could really do with X because well, X had had a weakness weapon. Hello boss from Final Fantasy Sonic X5. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, if, if I already explained this, oh well, I'm still going to explain it. So yeah, he has a few moves. He likes to jump around, dash, dash from one side of the screen to the other, and then back. It seems to be the only thing he likes doing. Yeah, he also enters a counter stance. And then does this flip kick. And that's about it. <laughs> I guess he's... He's still very easy. But I like his design. I have... Nostalgia. Now I can pretend that me talking about Sonic Frontiers was... A whole me reminiscing on nostalgia. And not just something completely out of thin air. Anyway, by beating him we get Chipuga. You hit the special button after dashing to do a sort of low slash, which does a lot of damage. <laughs> anyway, I think that'll just about wrap it up for this episode. Next time on Mega Man X4, we'll take on the last two Mavericks. And then see if the story changes at all. See you guys then.